Hi guys, sorry, I had to reset my password to get in. Lovely. <laughs> uh, be with you in just a minute. I gotta send a few of these out. <sighs> Come on, open up. Hello. I'll be with you guys in just a minute. So I can control the volume. Send. Send. Noise again. To get another blanket. I'm cold. What are you going to do? This isn't big enough to put on your whole body. If you give me that, you can pull up the bed spread. So, how are you guys doing? I talked to somebody um, this week, emailed me, and she told me she had been in bed throwing up for like four days. Asked if it bed what? was normal or could happen. Yes. <laughs> um, totally. Um, as you guys know, I kicked my own butt. <laughs> um, and I'm going to kick yours today. <laughs> I, it's like, okay, what am I doing today? You know, totally clear all week. What am I doing today? Mm. We're going to do something that I'm not even teaching my practitioners until February because I kicked my butt for two weeks. Are you guys ready? <laughs> I mean, seriously, I was fried for two weeks. And everybody's like, I want to learn, I want to learn. It's like, hell no, I'm not doing that again. <laughs> but um, I am here in Puerto Escondido until Monday, and then I fly off to Cancun. And I'm flying my niece in to join me um, for nine days, and we're going to go cruise around. And I got to tell you guys, since I've been doing this work, um, like what I did with you guys last week where we reset – our um, timelines and before that I did this and that is um, the original blueprint my life has totally completely shifted I mean if you guys have been following me at all the last seven years I've been traveling I have lived several different places <laughs> I've lived in Oregon I've lived in Florida I've lived in Oregon I've been everywhere and then I, here I am living in Florida, but yet I'm in England for six months. You know, Here I am in Mexico. I've been here for two months because I've always been running. Always. And everything I needed was right here. <laughs> I'm putting to my heart right here. But I was always looking for it out there. And um, everything's changed for me everything. I mean, I'm blown away on how different I am. And I'm thankful how different I am. So you guys ready for some major shifts? Um, just a warning. <laughs> you might be spinning for a few days. You might be in bed for a few days throwing up. But this is in between you and you. I didn't do this to you. I'm offering you this 
original blueprint to help you shift this stuff out. So how it affects you and how fast you shift with this is it between you and you. Okay, sacred activations did not do this to you. Do you understand? It helped you transform. But I got to tell you, when you get out the other side, you'll be totally shifted. What I thought I wanted two weeks ago is not what I want now. At all. It's not even in my focus. It's not even in my thought. It's zero attachment to it. zero and it's weird <laughs> used to being attached to things <laughs> but wait a minute <laughs> and the funny thing is is before I left I wasn't planning on ever coming home I was planning on my kids coming to visit me I was planning on finding a house somewhere in Mexico or Peru or who knows where and I was gonna um, have my son fly my cats out and before all of this happened, I tried to rehome my cats so that they would be happy because they're locked in a little apartment with my son. No matter what I did, everything fell through to rehome my cats. Thank freaking God everything fell through because I'd be devastated or driving 12 hours to go get my cat. <laughs> Thank God. My higher self knew I would be doing this. Thank God the actors showed up in my life to help me do this. Because everybody that shows up in your life is an actor, is a mirror to show you things to help you shift your life. They're here to help you. Even if it hurts, even if it's scary. They're here assisting you with you becoming more of you. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> There's no such thing as victims. That's a complete and total lie. You're not a victim. So if you feel like you're a victim of something, let that go now. And, you know, I've been working on a lot of core issues with you guys. And I gave you this huge package when you signed up of activations. Go through those activations and do them. They will help assist you in this growth that we're doing now. Oh, you know what? I got earphones. I haven't even opened them yet. Should I open my earphones? <laughs> you hear the banging, bang, 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 bang? <laughs> Hold on a second. So um, let me open my earphones. And while I'm opening my earphones, I want to open the mic. What's been going on? This is our last week together in this venture. And I really think this is the most powerful webinar little series I put together. Although exiting the mind matrix with love shifted my life, as you guys know. <laughs> and now this is like, phew, again. Um, so where are you guys? What's going on with you? What has happened? Please share. This helps everybody. Thank you. Who wants to raise their hand? Yeah, my cats knew I'd come home. Go ahead, Brenda. Okay, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. I'm going to grab um, my headset while you're talking. Okay. Uh, actually, um, I have never been able to um, go to past lives before. I have tried but I was never able to. So in the last um, two um, sessions with you, I was able to do that. And okay. then um, uh, just this last week, it's like been a whirlwind of just, I had made plans to go and do other things and, and, and no, it just made it so that I was stabilized here at the house and it was, I ended up okay, I had a phone call. Sorry. So anyway, I needed um, I needed time here, and uh, I went into a very very deep meditation most of the day on Sunday, most of the day that that I possibly could with my time, and uh, what actually came out of it was um, 
I have a, I have a really new enlightenment of what I'm to be now. Um, I am to be a guiding light and I am to be a, uh, belief warrior and I am to be a, uh, warrior for tranquility for others, like to let them know that things are possible and that, you know, it's because I have such a strong belief for these things for other people. And it's like, it happens for them so quick. You know, like a lot of people come to me and ask me, can you pray for me for this? And this, and, and then I say, well, what do you want? And it's like, I, I have such a good able ability to hone in. And, uh, but I would, I was never able to put this into words and oh my goodness. So since our last session, it's like, <laughs> it's been great. It's been really great. So yeah, I'm ready for this next one now. <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. How's my speaker? You guys, is this good? Yeah. Very good. Awesome. And I can hear everybody. Oh, my God. I'm so excited. Instead of sticking my ear up to my computer, <laughs> which has been ridiculous. That's so awesome, honey. Congratulations. And, and thank you so much for sharing. I really appreciate it. And I'm really excited I was able to um, help you shift. That's just awesome. Um, who else would like to share? iPhone. You have your hand up. I'm going to go ahead. I think you're unmuted. It's an iPhone with their hand up. No photo. I don't hear anything. Are you there? Hello? You have your hand up. Okay, I'm lowering your hand. Okay, anybody else? Oh, come on, you guys. This is the last chance in this class to share what has shifted or you have questions. <laughs> Hi, Tamara. Hi. How are you, honey? <laughs> I'm good. Thank you. My major shift was really the first week. I had a complete turnaround in my business. I think I've already shared that after the, the first week. Um, so it's just been a continuation of this. Just so much okay. flow, just, you know, just yeah just a lot of flow um, a lot of synchronicities um, things that I'm thinking that's never going to happen suddenly it happens just because I'm letting go I'm definitely more in the flow of letting go good yep. that's awesome thank you sweetheart thank you um, you know I suggested you guys use the HMI um, money bank or whatever it's called it's really good I don't know if you guys are using that. This week, I did this call, I think it was at the end of 2012 or the beginning of 2013, I did this class. Oh, let's go ahead and talk to everybody else first. Okay, um, iPhone, I'm gonna unmute you first and then I'll share some information with you guys. Go ahead, iPhone. Oh, I'm, okay, go ahead, you're unmuted. Okay, can you hear me? I can hear you perfectly. Okay, because it's, it's very hard to hear you. Uh, this is Diana. I've been having, I've been missing all the classes because I've been, for whatever reason with this series, I've been having challenges getting in techno technologically. Don't know why. In any case, at this point, is it best for me to go back to class one? And how should I pace myself with this, with reviewing all the classes from the prosperity? Well, I, of course, I would definitely go back and listen to all of them. Um, I but how should I pace myself? Do one a week? Yeah, depending on how many activations you've done. Although what we're doing in this class is um, I'd probably give yourself a week in between. Okay, yeah. Because yeah. the bonus package, when I went re looked at it quickly, it looks like it's the same thing that we did, I don't know how long ago. You had, um, I think it was a two-day prosperity workshop that I did. Um, I didn't see that workshop, though, in my account. Um, Honey, so that's it's, a support it's not, question. It's great that's that you put that a... in as, as a bonus. The one Thank thing you. that I'm wondering in my situation is, should I purchase Damsel in Distress? Well, if you're asking me, I would say yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because I'm having challenges with my home. And... Um, People would tell me your problem, your challenges will take back your power. And now I'm 
I, I'm at the verge where I may have to short sale my home, but possibly make a negotiation with this person who's interested. I don't feel that's my power, but to stay in my home, that may be my option. Because I'm go I'm just continue to have problems with the prosperity. Nothing's happening. Okay. Well, instead of saying nothing's happening, I know every single day go into I love me, I'm grateful, thank you, God. You know, show me, thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't go into damsel in distress. Don't go into victim because you are creating everything that happens in your life. And if it's yeah. you losing your power and losing your home, you are creating that. Okay. So, yeah. Because last week, because um, you mentioned in one of your videos about realizing I, I love myself. I was feeling that last week. And um, we of our town is trying to pull eminent domain on the block I live on, on top of everything else. But I found support with other people in the town. We're having a meeting tonight. And this one person in particular, he sent me a text last week and he said, stay positive and you will have what you want. Right. So I was, when you were experienced the, I love myself, my energy was very, very high. And um, as usual, I just shouldn't cancel that. Um, I noticed that it, the energy dissipated. Um, but I'm much farther than I was ever before. Um, I don't know if it's meant my word is my operative word at this point is surrender. Just be patient and surrender. The universe knows what you've asked. Yeah. It's like ordering a pizza, right? You, you place your order for your pizza and it, it's delivered in a half hour to an hour, right? Yeah. Do you constantly yeah. call the pizza place and say, do you remember the mushrooms? Did you remember the peppers? But mm -hmm. wait a minute. I didn't want anchovies. Please don't put anchovies on there. Oh, my God. Are you going to put anchovies on my pizza? You know, <laughs> you know should I, I mean? also, also put another question here because I've been saying it. I, I haven't had a sense that I meant to be going anywhere else, moving someplace else. Good. Should I put that question in there? Is it best that I relocate someone else? Is that what this, why this is coming up? Well, is that a if, question if, to put in there? If you don't feel like you're going anywhere else, then you're not. Relax. Yeah. Stay calm, stay grounded, stay connected, stay in gratitude, and know that everything will work out and that you're having the opportunity to have all the stuff come up to look at it and shift it and just keep working on it and shift, 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 keep working on it. You know, when you see those fears and stuff come up, just focus on it and clear the energy and continue and to do that. I just want to add one more thing. I ha do have a strong feeling that I am dealing with this now for over 10 years and that it's a very strong possibility that my breakthrough will come because one of my missions in life will be to assist others in their breakthrough in this this area of course of course now with that i want to say something very clearly about that because a lot of people think they have to go through all the suffering and stuff in order to be qualified to help other people there's a there's a lot of healers i know i shouldn't say a lot but some of these people are very famous that um had to heal from cancer or other things in order to prove that they were worthy to be a healer. And then that gave them their stance of, of expertise to help others. We don't have to go through that, you guys. Yeah. And you I know, have to thank you because you were one of two people I've that. heard say this in contrast to a very well-known person who has said, in order to gain it all, you have to lose it all. I don't buy into that. There's no reason no. for that. No, that's their limiting belief systems. I remember thinking I wasn't enough. I haven't been through enough to help other people. What, what right do I have? And I'd hear, well, Tamara, you healed from thyroid disease. You've been on medica off medication for how long? You know, I'd hear that, but that's not enough. I got to do this. I got to do that. Well, Tamara... Your son is no longer a heroin addict. Isn't that enough? No, that's not enough. I got to do this. I got to do that. I never felt like I was enough or what I was going through was enough 
to be able to help other people. And that's a belief system. Yeah, and may I share something here quickly? Um, I studied with a spiritual teacher a few decades ago. And one thing I remember distinctly that came out of those studies was the concept that once you master even one thing, the same rules apply and you apply it to anything in your life. So it's not like, hey, I've got to go this and start from scratch and reinvent the wheel. You right. know how to do it. We, yeah. A part of ourselves already know how to do it. We are called upon to get back in touch with that. Yes. Yeah. And remember, you guys, this is a video game. It's just a video game. It's a very elaborate, amazing video game. I mean, if you guys watch Star Trek where they go into the holodeck and they program their vacations and what they want to experience, what do you think we're doing here? Did you get off track? Did you get locked into all these belief systems from your culture, from the world, and, and all the separation? Because, you know, you guys, I mean, we're this huge... The fifth dimensional grid system, how I see it, is all of our DNA woven in together, right? And the dark forces that want to keep you separate and they want to keep you in war and they want to keep you in pain and they want to keep you in disease are feeding all this energy in, right? And it's going in through the DNA. Now, some of us are going right? Suck it into it. Oh my God, disease. Oh my God, poverty. And then there's people like me and other people that are sending into, I saw this big hose being plugged in last week, of unconditional love, acceptance, abundance, being pumped into the DNA of the planet. Now we're a collective consciousness. So some of us are believing this, some of us are believing this. But again, back to the watermelon and, and, and the blueberry, when you don't feed the watermelon, what happens? It shrinks. That's the disease. That's the separateness. That's the war. That's the fear. That's the lack and limitation and slavery. It's all being shrunk. And what's happening to the blueberry? It's blowing up. That's with our energies, and that's how we're shifting. Um, so just keep shifting, and, and every time you see yourself in one of those fears, see yourself being unplugged from those belief systems. Yeah, they're powerful, but aren't you powerful? You know how powerful you are? Do you have any idea how powerful you are or who you truly are? I'm going to share another story here. Um, can I, um, it's Debbie, right? Or Deborah? Can I mute you for a minute, honey? Diana. Diana, I'm sorry. Hey, I got a D. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of myself. I'll, you can unmute again in a minute. So I'm going to go back to Brodrum, Turkey. 2015, I think. You know, my son was a heroin addict. Got him off of heroin, got him moved to Florida. I did the addiction redirection and Christ consciousness with him. It worked. <laughs> it blew me away, but it worked. And that was one of those things when, oh, my God, this stuff's really powerful. I had no clue. So here I'm in Brodrum, Turkey. I'm laying down to take a nap. And I see this demon over my son. And so I didn't know what was going on with my son at home. I'll tell you what I found out later. But I saw this demon over my son, and he was getting, and I said, get off my son. Leave him alone. Just leave him alone. And every time I would say that to this demon, he would get bigger and bigger and bigger and meaner, and he was like right in my face. And I went, holy shit, <laughs> you know. And so, of course, I scream out, help, help, <laughs> Archangel Michael, help Lord Metatron. And then they say, Tamara, you got this. And when they said that, my energy shot up, Pew! and I was this huge pillar of light, and then I looked at the demon. It was the size of a fly, and I went, Pew! it was gone, never to return. If I'm a pillar of light, so are you. 
I'm no different than you guys are. I'm just helping you wake up to who you truly are, which is incredible being, playing a video game. That's what we're doing, you guys. Okay, so now let's fast forward to when I go home. Six months later, I think that was one of my six-month trips of going all over the world, you know. <laughs> come here, okay, come here, okay. I was all over the place on that trip. So I go home and come to find out my son's boss gave him heroin, and he did it. The next day he went into work. His boss gives him heroin again. He hands the heroin back to his boss. He said, no, thank you, and he walked out and he quit. I think that's when that whole demon thing happened. But if you guys look at this, again, I'm no different than you guys are. I'm here to wake you up and to teach you. I connect to source energy. I can teach you how to do the same thing if that's something you're interested in. So just know if I can do it, you can do it. And the same thing applies to prosperity blocks and be in the flow. Um, another suggestion is busting loose from the money game. I did a class on this, um, I don't know, five years ago or something. And I just re-listened to the book this last week. And he really talks about just being in the flow. You know, like what I told you to use the money bank is like phase one. Phase two is you realize there is no money. There's no employees. Everything's you acting as you. You ready to get to that stage? <laughs> So um, I suggest you listen to it and start using it. It um, could take a while, but it'll help you break through that. And again, all the activations, that package um, I offered in this, use it. Connect with it. Hey, do we have any more questions? Um, let me unmute. Um, sorry, Debbie. <laughs> I know that's not it. I'm going to unmute you. Have it. Must Hi. have been another. Must have been another timeline. <laughs> no, it's Diana. <laughs> uh, Diana, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. No. Did you have any more questions, honey? No, and thank you. I said I remember this that story from uh, when you were doing the activation, uh, the Black Magic Puppet Master. Yes, thank you. Yeah, yeah. You're welcome. Yeah, that was a, that was a like wow moment for me. Yeah. So was the addiction redirection. I mean, you know, I this was right after you guys. Well, I started learning this stuff in March. I went home in November, and I ran that on my son in December, and um, and then in January he was clean. And then holy hell broke loose because he was dealing with a bunch of emotions he hasn't looked at in seven years. <laughs> Boy, that really sucked. But anyways, <laughs> he's doing much better now. Um, just to let you know. Um, yeah, that was a big moment for me, really learning how powerful this stuff is. Um, because I was always questioning it. I don't question it anymore. I've learned not to. Because <laughs> trust me, they'll prove it to me, and I don't want that anymore. Just trust you guys. Be in the flow. Okay, so um, let me stop this, and I'm going to restart it. Um, if you can, go grab it. Let's take a five-minute break. I want you to grab a piece of paper and a pen. And what we're going to do is um, success blueprint. And I'm ready to throw up just talking about it. I don't know why. <laughs> so uh, grab a paper and a pen, take five minutes, and we'll come back and we'll get started, okay? Okay.